Mandel, congrats, man. Another highlight on the highlight reel. Uh, nothing weird coming into this fight. Nothing weird happening in there. How did it feel to just go out there and, and get a violent knockout again? Uh, you know, that's what uh, people like, so it felt good. But honestly, it just feels good to complete the camp, make the trip, pass all your COVID tests, <laughs> and then uh, get to fight. So, you know, this is the icing on the cake. I said it's fun when it works out, uh, which is true. But just, just getting in there is an accomplishment, you know? Like, just because my opponent lost tonight, it doesn't mean he didn't accomplish something big uh, before before all the fighting happened. So, you know, it's all good. For sure, man. And Oh, great. That's nice. <laughs> did, did that performance, when you went out there and, and just performed, did it, did it go down the way that you would expect it, envisioned in your head? Yeah. Uh, there are certain things that we worked on in training that is just like, when you find out who you are as a fighter and you can kind of plug that in to every matchup, that's kind of what we went over and it felt like it was pretty well executed tonight you know like i knew what i had to do and, and uh it, it was it was almost uh 100 what we practiced so it feels pretty nice and that superman punch sort of strike that you hit him with uh, that dropped him was that something in training that you saw or did you just kind of feel like throwing it and it worked <laughs> it's probably that's probably just bad technique on a cross <laughs> i probably just uh had one of those gsp right hands where your back leg gets off the ground and it looked like a superman punch because uh I'm not a big Superman punch fan, so I'm glad it looked cool, though. Or maybe it didn't. I don't know. It, it definitely looked cool. Uh, and congratulations. You know, you, you talked about, you know, the GSP-esque Superman punch. You know, talk about training with GSP and just, you know, learning from him on a daily basis. I mean, I say it every time I get to talk about George. He is the, the coolest uh, fighter in the world and also has the best career of all time. Uh, nobody has done anything close to what he did. And, uh, you know, just seeing him still now active in the gym and obsessed with training, it's just, you know, it's pretty inspiring. It's like, this isn't just something you get in and you spend seven years doing and you bail. Like, this is a lifelong thing. And George, you know, really shows that. So it, it's awesome. And, and talk to me about closer. And talk to me about, you know, Bellator came out with rankings. I'm sure that you'd love to see your name there. Uh, you know, where do you think this win puts you and how close are you to, to you know, having a number next to your name? If I'm in there, uh, good. But re realistically, I don't really care where I'm at on the rankings. I will never check. Uh, if people want to throw me some money because I'm on the rankings, that's good. But the belt is, look, number one and then the rest are history. So uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I want the belt. That's the eventual goal. But as for right now, rankings, uh, they, they don't really... I'm not too bothered. And, you know, when, when can we see you back in the cage? I mean, when would you ideally like to be back in here? Mm, I think that I owe my family some time, but I've been saying that uh, sometime in the summer would be good. You know, July would be nice, I think, uh, especially because things are so crazy now with travel. It's not, it's not just a, a fight. It's traveling to get to train and then traveling out here and then quarantining back home. So there's a bit of a cushion on either end, but... Uh, yeah, I think July would be cool. Speaking of the Superman punch, speaking of doing some cool things, did you you try to throw a question mark kick in there? I think all my kicks look like question mark yeah. kicks because I got these spindly legs. So it, I throw them out, and wherever the wind takes them, uh, that's where they go. <laughs> all right on. And uh, your opponent, it seemed like his game plan was to be aggressive, put you on your back foot. Were you guys expecting that coming in? Yeah, I think everybody who fights me wants to be aggressive just because I'm a rangy 55er. So the game plan, like the right thing to do is to really press me. Um, the one thing I have that some taller guys don't have is I got sting. So uh, it's hard It's hard to press me when, when you're getting hurt. Absolutely awesome. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. How you doing, man? Good, how are Technically, you? Technically, can you break down that finish for me? Because it reminded me a little bit of the O'Malley Wineland knockout, mm. uh, faking something with the left and finishing with the right. Yeah, uh, you know, like one, two is the ultimate combo, right? And uh, a lot of guys know how to defend the one and a lot of guys overreach when they're defending the one. So if you throw a fake one and hit them with the two, it's just like, that's easy money. And uh, that's what it was. I got one more for you. I just noticed it. Is that a custom made shirt? It is. Uh, give my merch. DM me and maybe I'll mail you one. <laughs> hey, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. Nice. How are you? Cool, too. 
You said you were having fun and it felt a little bit like sparring in there. Do you find it helpful approaching the fight like that with that attitude? Definitely. I mean, this is the first time I've done it. Every other fight, I'm like, this is it. If I don't win this, I'm just dead. I'm a loser. Everybody's going to hate me. So <laughs> when I come out here and I'm like, you know, I get nervous for sparring. I'm nervous now. Uh, no big deal. It feels a lot better. Cool. Thanks, man. No Congrats. Problem. Thank you. All right. We'll take a couple more here. Keith. Uh, hey, Mandel, it's Keith Jones, Sure Dog. Congratulations on an incredible victory. Uh, Thank you very much. I just got one quick question for you. Big John kept saying that this was the best performance of your career. I think it's going to be kind of hard to top that Carrington Banks knockout, but do you agree with Big John or do you agree with me? I agree with Big John. I mean, I got taken down in that fight, right? So Fair <laughs> enough. Around, so. But I mean, every, every performance is growth, so the next one will be even better. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Max? Uh, Mandel, you told us uh, on media day that people remember the, what you did in your last fight. And, and you, you, you told us that you wanted to get that sorry taste off of people's uh, mouth. And one Superman punch, knockout later, how, how is that going? How do you feel right now? Yeah, it feels great. I mean, uh, for, for me, it, does, it, it just, it, it's nice because it's an accomplishment, but I think it's bigger for people who, who aren't me. Because for me, like, I knew how good I was. So this is, like, this is just something I knew I could do. But for everybody else, now they're like, oh, yeah, he's actually not all hype or whatever it is, you know? So it, it's bigger for everybody else than it is for me. Santiago? Congratulations on a beautiful performance, Mandel. Thank that you. was impressive. How important is Firas Sahabi for you and for your preparation yeah, to he's a fight? The, he's the most important. He's the head coach. He's the guy that puts it all together. Uh, he is not only just when it comes to being what people call a martial artist, a martial artist, like he is obsessed with martial arts. He's also, he gives up time out of his weeks. He has a family and he's in the gym every day. He trains with us. Uh, he's just the man. He's super important. Big night for Canada. Enjoy the victory, sir. Thank you very much. Jack? Hey, Mandel, congrats on the win. Um, when you were in there and starting to take over the fight, did you feel like the finish was coming? Or is that something that you uh, maybe don't even think about when you're fighting someone? I think it, like, hopefully I don't, <clears throat> I'm not thinking that uh, in, my, in my future fights because I was hitting him and I was like, after a certain point, I hit him with a couple of right hands. And I was like, man, maybe this is just a three round fight because maybe he's just this tough. Uh, and, and I was chasing him a little bit. And Faraz was like, relax, you know, because uh, anybody can just come back, swing a big right hand and I'm sleeping and everybody's saying what a comeback by my opponent. So I was thinking about it and I hope to not think about it in future. It'll make me a better fighter. Ronald. Ronald Smith and getting real. Mandel, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Your, your whole focus on that and the feeling that you, you said was having fun, but sometimes the moment can get so big, you get lost in it. How do you, how do you control yourself to not get lost in that? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. I mean, you just, I, I think you need to just recall your training uh, and, and go like, okay, this is a big event. Uh, there's a lot of eyes on you, but at the end of the day, you've been doing it for the past, you know, however many weeks and the rest of your life you've been doing it. So you just have to pull yourself back and go, this is just what I do all the time. Instead of thinking, this is one thing I get to do only once, you know, that's, I guess that's it. Last one, Donna. Mandel, after the last really like two and a half years of, of what you've been going through between, you know, the last fight and then how the, how the fight prior to that went, was there was all that frustration of the last two and a half years kind of behind that final blow you landed tonight? <laughs> Definitely not. No, that all that frustration I think is made up. I don't have too much frustration. I, I, like I'll tell everybody in the world, this is a crazy game. Uh, so when a fight doesn't go your way, it sucks. But in my head, uh, the fact that I get to train all the time and my family supports me in doing that, and my friends do as well. Uh, there's no frustration. That shot was just, I mean, I'm not trying to score walk-off KOs, you know, like <laughs> you gotta, you gotta hunt the finish. So that, that was all I was thinking. I got to finish. All right. Thanks, Mandel. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Rat Garbage NFT. Check my social medias. Buy one. <laughs>